and God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times. Ye people pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. The nursing home ministry is today, and we'll be at two nursing homes simultaneously, and we would love for you to join us at either one. The ministry will be at River Oaks Nursing Home, located at 2500 Simcoe Street, also at Camelot of Broussard, 418 Albertson Parkway. Arrive for 145 for prayer. Come, be among the elderly silver saints who still need to hear the word of God and receive the gospel of our Lord, Jesus Christ. This week, Saints, is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. If you're available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the Saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. School of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. This is where many of us learn how to pray to the Father out loud and how to come boldly before His throne of grace. See you there. Yes, I'd like to invite everyone to the fire ministry as the free and deed recovery experience. Now, when people hear the word recovery, they assume that it's just about drugs and alcohol. But I want to encourage you that it is a deliverance ministry. We don't only deal with addictions, but we also deal with sin. So if you want to come and be set free as we have been set free, come and join us every Thursday at 7 o'clock. The Fire Ministry. Reignite the fire on Thursdays this October after School of Prayer here at Philadelphia. Mark your calendars for the Spiritual Gifts class October 30th. This class will help you find out what your spiritual gift is and how you can get to work for the Kingdom of God. Join us 7 p.m. on October 30th for the Spiritual Gifts class. The HFL Hebrew flag football season is here and has begun Friday nights for the men's teams at Moore Park. 250 Corret Drive, Lafayette, beginning at 6.30 p.m. The kids and women's games will be held on Sunday evening starting at 4 p.m. for the kids and 5 p.m. for the women. See you in the end zone or in the stands. Let's take a moment and check out our next Philly Testimonies. What's up, Philly? We're back once again with another testimony. We're here with Minister Duck and Miss Chantel. I have the question of the day for y'all, and the question of the day for y'all is, why you got that look on your face, man? I thought you was ready to bow. I mean, you sitting up there dancing, man, you know what I'm saying? That's cold. You put his wife on the spot. Oh, camera. Can we edit this? <laughs> <laughs> You're not talking? Okay, all right. I got this thing. I'm going to go. Okay. <clears throat> all right, now since we back, <laughs> I have the question of the day for y'all. Yes, sir. And the question of the day for y'all is, who first invited you to Philadelphia? Who invited you? You invited me. I invited you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the person that invited me was um, this little fella. Um, Bright. The green-eyed guy. What's his name again? Um, Pastor Omar. Pastor Omar, yeah. Pastor Omar Tebow. <laughs> the, the, the skinny one or the full out one? The one with the hat. No, the one, the, he had no hat at the time. <laughs> he had no hat. But it was funny because Pastor Omar actually invited me and I met him, well, we've been knowing each other. You know what I'm saying? We've been knowing each other since USL. But what happened one day, me and Kendrick was in Popeye's, you know, in the Popeye's buffet and stuff, and him and his wife came in, and he actually had a flyer. You know, he had a flyer in his hand, and I knew, honestly, that's how you, you know, I knew Pastor Omar from back in the day, you know, with the fraternities and stuff, and he's handing out flyers. And I'm thinking, well, hey, man, we're about to go to a party, you know? So he gave me this fly, and it says Philadelphia, and he invites me to Philadelphia. I, Sean, you I know what that was. Fly no, I thought it was a, I thought it was a club. And then, and then it said 201 Pine Street. Club Philadelphia? 
Boy, I used to club over there at that place. Me too, but I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> but that's real, man. But but and I asked him, I said, man, what's the Philadelphia? And he started just breaking it down to me. He said, man, that's a church. He didn't give me a whole lot. He didn't give me a whole lot. You know, he just showed me some love and invited me to church. I said, you know what, man? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. And I went. And I, I went. I went first. I went first before before my wife, by yeah, the way. He, he kept saying, you need to go, you need to go. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. She make it seem like I was pushy, dog. Yeah, he was. Don't was push good. me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying Bring not. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get back focused, y'all. My bad. We here. We here. <laughs> next question. So the next question is, how was the experience the first time that y'all came to Philadelphia? Ooh, that's good. You want to go first on this one? I'll go first. Um, mm-hmm. I was raised in the church, so I kind of knew what church was. But when I got to Philadelphia, it was different. And I was Lost like, as a goose in the hailstorm, but I ain't saying that no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad, man. I'm sorry. It's just a pretty talk. Um, talk. But it was a different church for me. It was uh, more family oriented. They, they showed me love. They uh, got to. They were able to know who I was coming back. So um, I liked it. I came mm-hmm. back. I cried my eyes out at the altar. I came back, and I'm here. That's what's up, Minister Duck. Yes, sir. Uh, my first time. I actually went before her. I came before her. My first time coming to Philly was at, like I said, at Pine Street. It wasn't that many of us. It might have been about 30, 40, 50 of us at the most. When I went there, I heard some stuff, you know, the word broken down like I've never heard it before. And it wasn't just a Pastor Omar. It wasn't just the word. It's something about when God get hold to you, grab me immediately. And I'm going to say this, and y'all don't talk about me out there. That was the first time I cried. <laughs> no, that's the first. Let me, y'all don't not y'all not y'all y'all not understanding. Should tell you, I didn't cry before before Philadelphia. Not in church. I didn't cry. I was not in I'm church. A man. Oh, I you cried like watching cry. Beauty and the Beast. I heard about you. Lion King, dog. Lion King. That one too. <laughs> but I, but real talk. When I got there, it's like God just grabbed hold of me, and I knew immediately. Immedi- immediately, I knew that I wasn't going anywhere. That this was this was this was my church home, and. I don't have enough time to tell you my testimony, but God actually sent me over there. But that's a whole nother story for a later date, you know. But uh, after, after God spoke to me, I never been the same, man. I never been the he same. He did a one in and pivot like no other. Some people, some, and some, I didn't like it, but I. I some people change <laughs> gradually, and and she'll tell you. It, and and I know we short for time, but look, some people change gradually. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. I went, God grabbed me, I went home, she thought I was crazy. I went to the bar, poured out all everything we had, down the drain. It was it. That was it. Overnight. Boom. Just like that. God said, let's go. That's what's up. There you have it, Philly. You come to Philly one time and you get saved. Y'all have a blessed one. Philly, once again, I'm standing next to Brother Sam and Miss Leola. Listen, guys, I got the question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day is. Who first invited you to Philadelphia? Well, actually, um, around 2012, uh, we had been in a ministry for like a little over 30 years. In fact, Sam grew up in that ministry and I got saved there. But around January, around 2012, uh, God was moving us away from there. And, you know, it had been years that we knew that it was time for us to move, but then God really spoke to us and told Sam that it was time for us to leave this ministry. So uh, we were looking for a church. And so what I did is I actually went on the internet and uh, <clears throat> to see what churches were out there. And um, Philadelphia came up. And so being that it's one of the, that's what caught my attention because it's one of the, uh, in Revelation talks about uh, Philipp- the Philippian church and it's being the uh, church of brotherly love. So I began to research it and I saw one of the, uh, one of Pastor Omar's uh, sermons and I started to listen and I'm like, oh, wow, you know, that man is really teaching the word. He's breaking down the word. And so when my husband came home from work, I told him, I said, look, you got to listen to this sermon by Pastor Omar. And uh, he listened. He's like, yeah, you know, he's really preaching the word. He said, well, we're going to go visit that church. So we uh, came to our, our last year because he saw that, that the uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Philadelphia on the building. So we came that next Sunday, but y'all, they had not moved into the church yet. 
And so we inquired about it. And my son uh, was um, working as probation officer at the time. He met Danielle, who was a, a member of Philadelphia. And she told us, no, they're on Pine Street. So the next Sunday, we went to uh, the Pine Street location. And after visiting that one time, we knew this is where we needed to be. I got you, I got you. So I have one more question for y'all before I let y'all go. When y'all first came, finally, yes. how was that experience like just sitting under the covering and hearing the word coming from Pastor Omar? Well, I knew this is where we needed to be because we, uh, we were hungry for the word and we liked the word, but he was breaking it down like we had never heard before. Where we got, where you thought you knew the word, he gave you a clear understanding of what the word was, was being said and how he was speaking to me. And I had just lost my mom. My mom died in February, and that was the same month that we came here. And Pastor Omar was speaking about dying well. And that brought so much comfort to my heart. And I knew that this was the place that God was leading us to. We had never went any other church. We were looking for a church, but Philadelphia is where we came and we never left. I got you. And Minister Sam? And uh, well, the thing is, like you said, we left from my other church. And uh, when we got to Philadelphia, we found that uh, place of refuge. Like I said before, you uh, you either in a storm, headed to a storm, or coming out of one. And uh, we found that Philadelphia is a place that, that can uh, address each position you are, if you're out, in, or going to it. And uh, Pastor Omar does that well, and the whole Philly family. So we, we're comfortable and glad that we're here. That's what's up, y'all, Philly. I'm going to try to get my voice like his, James R. Jones. You know, oh, we came to Philadelphia and it was over. I, I don't have it like that, but Minister Sam have it. Look, that's the testimony. Y'all be good. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. We'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Mrs. Elizabeth Brown, October 29th. May the Lord give you joy and many more, sincerely from your loving family. Happy birthday to our sweet, vibrant sister, Rosalind Landry. Beautiful, virtuous woman of God, we declare that your latter years shall be greater than your former years. Expect big. By the way, 55 years young never looks so good. Keep shining, sis. Wishing you the happiest birthday from your BFF, Brandy, and family. We love you. Congratulations to Glorious Expressions Hair Boutique owner Cherie Kelly on becoming a Bronner Brothers professional educator. Bronner Brothers is one of the largest black-owned businesses in the hair industry, and they are known around the world for their amazing hair products and their extravagant hair shows. Cherie went through a stylist boot camp training and interview and was chosen out of many stylists from around the nation. What God has for you is for you. Favor ain't fair, but his show is fabulous. Open doors and open heaven. Well, let's congratulate Ernest and Raquel Curl on the grand opening of their new barbershop in the Kitty and Mall, Fire Cuts and Designs. They'll be having their ribbon cutting ceremony this Saturday, November 2nd. Free food, treats, and plenty of fun. They're located again in the Kitty and Mall next to City Gear and in front of the kids' play area. Family, friends, clients, community, and guests. Everyone is invited and welcome. Congratulations to the Curl family. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. You must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time.